Hello and welcome to the Motown India show. My name is Joshua and today we're going to be reviewing the all new Mahindra Gusto 125 cc. Code name the G108, the Mahindra Gusto has now got an all new engine with a 125 cc capacity. Now Mahindra launched the Gusto back in 2015 and this new version is a peppier, spunkier and smarter looking scooter. Now the Gusto 125 has a 124.6 cc air cooled 4 stroke MTech engine which produces 8.5 bhp at 7000 rpm and 10 Nm of torque at 6500 rpm. Now what this translates into is adequate pulling power and this power comes in somewhere a little after the mid-range of the power band. The scooter is fast, there is no doubt about it. It will pick up speed once it clears 6000 rpm post its mid-range where the meat of the power band lies. So on road, we were able to reach 75 kmph in a matter of seconds, which should be sufficient to keep up and overtake in city traffic. The scooter does feel out of breath past 75 kmph mark, but then again, it isn't built to do that. It climbed up steep inclines both off and on the road with ease. We also found that the ride of the Gusto 125 was quite a sturdy one. It is not easily shaken up and feels well built. Now the 125cc Mahindra Gusto is like its previous version, the 110cc Gusto and it comes with an analog speedometer, it comes with really good fit and finish in the switch gear. It's very ergonomically placed and comfortable to operate. The design and styling more or less remains the same and as you can see it has attractive new colors so the color scheme is a bit more peppy a bit more spunky and adds a lot of life and brightness to this scooter now apart from being a peppy and a smart scooter this is also a very practical scooter as you can see there is plenty of under seat storage and you can adjust the seat for height for practicality and different users driving this vehicle The Mahindra Gusto 125 has a small pocket up front to hold your mobile phone and other pocket sized things. Apart from that, it has a baggage hook and a roomy under seat storage area. But what really sets this one apart is the thinking gone behind its making, like a height adjustable seat. Now like the previous version of the Gusto, this version as well will come with the LED DRLs with find me and follow me home functions. It also has a smart key which has a flip switch and buttons for light and finding the vehicle. Now the tires are a 90 by 90 R12 Nilo Grip MRF Zappers and they really grip the road well. When we panic braked today while testing out this vehicle, I was quite satisfied with the performance of these tires. The Mahindra off-road DNA has definitely trickled down into their two-wheeler division. The Gusto 125 is supported by telescopic air suspension in the front and a coil type hydraulic suspension in the rear. Apart from holding its own, this scooter managed to provide a comfy ride even on bad terrains. The saddle is broad enough to fit a large adult and the cushion keeps your rear cheeks quite cozy. So to sum it all up, we can simply say that if you've driven a Mahindra Thar, then this has to be its counterpart in the 125cc scooter segment. It handled every hurdle we threw its way with grace and finesse while ensuring we had a comfy ride. We estimate it should be priced around Rs 53,000 mark, which if true would be a steal. In a city like Delhi, where kachde se lekar dil tak jalta hai, why ban beautiful cars like this?